Chapter four, development. The good get better, the best excel. We're about to enter the crucial stage of being a leader where the love concept begins to impact your daily behavior. Setting expectations and establishing an assignment had much more to do with the job than it did with a person. In this chapter, we will discuss the role of leaders as coaches and mentors. In order to be effective in that role, you will need all the love you can muster. Seldom, if ever, will any associate be perfect in his or her performance. It is that part of the job through which the leader earns her right to be called a leader. It's here that you will need to give of yourself, and love is the only way you can assure that you will do that in a way that creates a constructive learning experience for your associates. Your associates rely on your commitment to them, and at no time does that commitment get tested, indeed proven, more than when you are focused on development. Your job is to commit time to developing people's abilities. Your aloha for them will be tested every single day. Focus on development and that gamble when a new associate becomes an investment. Fail to commit and the gamble will frequently result in a loss. Stephen Covey, author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, makes the case this way, quote, the basic role of the leader is to foster mutual respect and build a complementary team where each strength is made productive and each weakness is made irrelevant. 